welcome back today we are going to talk about very important function in sql server which is coles this function returns the first null null value so what does it mean right so it means that let's say if we are giving the a uh, lot of columns to this function lot of values to the function by separating the comma right uh, so it will return us the first null not null value so what does it mean for example i, I just want to give you a simple example let's say uh, i am having i am having a one query like this select and here i am using this function coles and in coles i'm passing like a one null then one then again null then two again three four like this right so basically if you'll observe this query and if you'll run it what you will get you will get the first null null value if we replace this two like this what will i get i will get one only because it will return the first not null value you may have a question if i replace this one with a null what should i get should i get a two or should i get a null or what should i get so you should get two because two is a first null null value right so basically this is the functionality of this function uh let me show you real time example so it will be very helpful to understand it actually for example we are having a table this table is having this column first name and uh, it's also having another column called as this last name and there might be a possibility that uh, for few record the first name will have the value and the last name will not have value then sometime first first column will not have any value but the last name will have the value right like that so you can add another column if you are interested to add it let's say uh, middle name middle name here this is the case 3 let's say z and starting to doesn't it doesn't have any value so these are having the value with a null this is also null 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 like right so when i apply coles function on this what should i get i should get x Uh, for second, I should get a Y, and for third, I should get a Z. Let's say one more record. For example, here I am having the null. Here I am having Y, and here I am having a Z. For example, then what should I get if I apply the Coles function here? So I should get Y because Y is the first non-null value. Let's create table and let's try to understand it. So I'm creating a table. create table employee and here we need to specify a column so my first column is first name which is having a data type of vacar great next column i have is uh, middle name okay and the last column i have which is surname let's create this table okay this table has been created successfully now let's run it and see how does it look like when i Execute this query. Select so query. I can see there are three columns, but it doesn't have any record. So let's insert data as per our demonstration. So first uh, record was the value, then null. So.
so I am giving here it as x then null then again null creating the raw data set so how it will be like next statement y right as this is the string value we have to add it in the um, quotation um, next is null and the last value was z great one more case we have seen that if these two column are having a value then what should we get uh, like this y z great now our schema is really less executed and see so four records has been added successfully when you execute this skill statement i can see data like this okay so what my requirement is my requirement is to get the first not null column value so how we can get it just Coalesce the first no column name is first name. Great. So this is the very simplest query and this is the very simplest example to understand coalesce function, right? So when I execute this query, uh, what should get? Before that, I think it would be great if I'll show, if I'll take all columns. Now let's run it. So here you will see the first column is our derived column. So here the first value is x, so normal null value basically, so we are getting x. So our second row it's a y so we have y for third one it's again x and the for fourth one it's a y right because that is all these are the first null null values so uh, i hope you understood the coalesce function and you enjoyed a lot if you like and enjoyed a video please don't forget to subscribe us it will help us to create few more videos thank you for watching have a great day